Here's a video shout out to my son, class of 2025, as I reminisce about my time in school. Remember back when we were in school and our parents used to help us out with our homework? You go to school the next day and you get all the answers wrong. Mama, I don't want you to help me out with my homework no more. Please, you just help me out with Sunday school. I handled the regular school myself. You think it to yourself, I may only get two or three of them right, but I ain't gonna get all of them wrong. Remember the bully? The bully used to call us names, and we used to say, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Oh, you can't say that today, because you're inviting violence, and they'll take you up on it. And the violence they'll use will be far worse than sticks and stones. I went to all black schools back in Memphis, and you learned quick that you had to wear clothes that were in style. Now I try to tell my daddy that you ain't gonna wear some clothes that he bought you cause they ain't in style. My daddy was like, oh, okay. So let me tell you what your style is. Your style is, is that you might wear clothes that's considered out of style. But if you're lucky and you wear them long enough, they might come back in style. But if you wanna see my style, just don't have those clothes on when you go to school tomorrow. My daddy wasn't playing. We used to go to school looking like sharecroppers. You can laugh all you want. We didn't care. We had discipline in school, too. Our teachers used to hand out butt whoopings like trick-or-treat candy. In the fourth grade, my best friend's dad spanked him in front of the entire class for cutting up. It was an ironic butt whooping, too, because it was in the exact spot where we gave show and tell. Until this day, that dude ain't never did nothing wrong. He ain't even jaywalked. Remember back in school, it was sometimes we had teachers that had the same name. You know, you go to an old black school, it's never a nice way to really tell them apart when you're talking. We just tell it like it is. Kids be like, Cece, are you in Miss Ruby Big Lip Johnson's class or Miss Gap Teeth Johnson's class? Sometimes I used to turn my homework in, get all the answers right, and still get a zero. I say, Miss Hollenberg, I got all the answers right. Where I get a zero? Miss Hollenberg was like, I gave you a zero because you can do better, plus your homework made me really hungry. Don't you ever turn in homework to me full of chicken grease, stains, and crumbs. The world expects you to be good. My finger looking good. Back then, we didn't have building engineers. We had janitors. I remember the first year our janitor, Mr. Hughes, was hired. Mr. Hughes had one front tooth missing when they first hired him. Seemed like every month, Mr. Hughes would lose a tooth. <laughs> By the end of that school year, Mr. Hughes had only one tooth left in his mouth. But he took care of that school. He didn't take care of his teeth, but he took care of that school. I remember back in the day, at one of my older cousins, football game. My cousin had said something smart to the referee and he didn't realize it to the last minute that his daddy had heard what he said to that referee. When that game was over, my cousin didn't even change back into his street clothes. He kept his whole uniform on. Helmet, pad, mouthpiece, cleats. He knew he needed the extra protection from his dad. We weren't allowed to talk to grown people like that. He was lucky it wasn't one of his basketball games. Remember how our teachers used to talk to the real bad students about how they need to get their lives together because adulthood was right around the corner? You know the ones I'm talking about. The ones that wouldn't go to the school in the daytime but break into the school at night. I never could quite figure that out. We need to have a study on that.